Hello, Prim friends. Welcome back. We're in my booth that is located inside Seville Antiques. This is Tweed Thistle Primitives. And I wonder if you were checking in tonight to see maybe if I've done something to that wall that's been my nemesis. And as a matter of fact, I have. So this one wall in the booth had a window frame in the middle of it. And then sort of a, I don't know, I think it was probably a primitive door to a cupboard at some point in time. And it was painted of a sort of a white. But I'll be honest with you, the idea of painting the old barn boards didn't quite sit well with me either, but I just couldn't. I just was having a really hard time, always had a hard time staging that area. So I realized that part of the problem was that window frame. You know, you can't lay anything across it with all those, um, the frame, the wood over it. So this was my solution. And I just wonder what your thoughts are. I have gone ahead and painted the portion that's in the middle, the back side of that door. And the color that I painted is called Rockport Gray from Benjamin Moore. And that actually ended up being, it's it was a nice opportunity to use that color because it is the color that I'm thinking that Jim and I may be using on our um, kitchen cabinets. We're having Cabinets made um, by a lovely Amish couple and family. And uh, we were going back and forth a little bit with the color called Revere Pewter. But I think that might have just been just a little too light for what we were, what we were going for. Do you have painted kitchen cabinets in your home? I'm curious what color you went with. We had um, a color was called Colonial Beige, and it was it had the same sort of a feel, maybe a little bit more greenish, but it didn't really feel green in the house. I'm not really a green person, but I really like this Rockport Gray. So I hope you will like and subscribe to our channel here at the Cape on the Corner at Tweed Thistle Farms. We're going through the building process of building our forever home. And our channel is filled with elements of that build and also antiques. Oh, I found out today also, I'm not going to tell you where, but I have had the confirmation from someone very special that we're going to do a video in their shop. Maybe their home. I haven't, I haven't actually asked that question yet, but let's start with the shop because the shop is just absolutely incredible. So again, I hope you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you get notifications when new videos upload. If you're in the area and can come to our open house, it is on November 19th. I have a lot of surprises that are still coming. I do not want to bring them in the shop quite yet because I want that November 19th date to be a real big surprise. I don't want it. Um, I just want to keep it, keep it for that day. So the booth is looking a little bit more sparse, sparse than it normally is, but um, we will be filled on that day. So again, I hope you'll like and subscribe, share with your friends, and most definitely comment below. I do, I do answer all the comments. And I appreciate all of your suggestions about what I should do with this corner. There's more coming. I have gourd garlands that will be hanging there.
I can't wait to get that all dressed like it will be for the Christmas open house. So take care, everybody. I hope you enjoy. Hopefully I'm able to cut and add getting this area staged. If you've not ever done that for a booth, oh my gosh. It is, uh, it's quite a process. A little here, a little there. And that wall right there, I was trying to hang that uh, tobacco stick with the hooks, the original hooks on it in that area above, but that wall is so hard. There was no way I was gonna be able to get that in. And yeah, I need somebody else here to kind of spot me when I'm, when I'm doing that. So take care everybody, keep hunting for those prims. They are out there, Seville Antiques, and all these shops that I'm taking you through is uh, a great, example of that. Have a wonderful weekend. Make it a wonderful one.